shall begin with some rhythmic exercises. Let us beat in twos. The counting is one, two, one, two. Chant with me. And go. Ta, titi, ta. Titi, titi, ta. Ta, 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 ta. Titi, ta, ta. Again. Ta, titi, ta. Titi, titi, ta. Ta, 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 ta. Titi, ta, ta. Now we shall beat in trees. The beat pattern is one, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. Ready and go. Ta, ta, ta. Fifty, fifty, ta, 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 fifty, ta, ta, fifty, ta, ta. One more time and go. Ta, 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 fifty, fifty, ta, 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 fifty, ta, ta, fifty, ta, ta. Very good. Now join me to beat in fours. The counting is one, two, three, four. One, two, ready, and ta, fifty, ta, fifty, 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 ta, ta, fifty, ta, fifty, ta, 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 again, ta, fifty, ta, fifty, fifty, fifty. Ta ta, fifty ta, fifty ta, ta ta ta. This time, instead of uh, chanting, we're going to clap all the quarter notes, and we're going to table tap all the eighth notes. Are you ready? Here we go. In one, two, ready, and clap, tap, tap, clap. Tap 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 clap clap tap tap clap clap tap tap clap 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 again clap tap tap clap tap 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 clap clap tap tap clap tap tap clap 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 Now we shall learn about time signatures what are the two numbers in a time signature? The upper number, in this example, will tell you how many beats are there in a measure. When we talk about beats, we talk about note values. In this case, in the time signature 2-4, always remember that there should only be two beats for each measure. The lower number, which is 4, is a symbol for a quarter note which means that a quarter note will receive one beat. That is why, if you will see in a measure two quarter notes, that is one plus one, and you'll get two. Now, we shall identify the missing symbol. Please refer to the chart at your left, and this is the pattern that we are going to solve. I hope you can help me. Measure number one is already complete because a pair of eighth notes has one beat and a quarter note has also one beat. Put them together, you already have two beats and the time signature is 2-4. But the second measure has a dotted quarter note. It only has one and one half beats. So I am lacking one musical symbol. Which of these do you think is the right answer for it? Is it a quarter note or an eighth note? The answer is an eighth note because an eighth note only has one half beat and put them together, you'll get two. Let's have another one.
Still, the time signature is 2-4. And you might be asking, why is there only one note in the last measure and yet it is complete? Because a half note receives two beats already. That is why it doesn't have to have anything or any symbol inside its measure except itself. Now let's look at the first measure. I am lacking one symbol and I already have a quarter note. A quarter note receives one beat. So I still need hmm, another beat to complete the measure. Which among the symbols will complete that measure? Is it a dotted quarter note or a pair of eighth notes? Let's see. It's a pair of eighth notes because a pair of eighth notes receive one beat. And to make it together, it's two. This time, I'm going to introduce to you two new symbols, the dotted half, re half rest and the dotted half note. Both of them receive three beats. The time signature is 3-4. Oh, there are so many blanks here. Let's just solve them one measure after another. Let's take a look at the first measure. Which of the two musical symbols should you think uh, be included in that measure to be complete? Is it a half note or a quarter note? The answer is a quarter note because half note receives two beats, a quarter note receives one beat, and put them together, you will get three. The time signature, remember, has the number three on the upper number. Let's go to the second measure. Which of the two groups of notes will fit the missing piece? Is it group number one, a dotted quarter note and an eighth note? Or group number two, a quarter note and an eighth note? The answer is a dotted quarter and an eighth. Put them together, you will get two beats. Plus, the pair of eighth notes, which is one beat, they you get three. Now, the last measure only requires one symbol inside it, which means that we are looking for a symbol that has three beats. Is it the dotted half rest or a half note? And the answer is the dotted half rest. This time, I'm introducing two new symbols, the whole note and the whole rest. Both of them are four beats all in all. And these are the pattern that we are going to solve. Let's go for the first measure. I only need one symbol for the first measure. Which of these is the right answer? Is it the whole note, the dotted half rest, or the half note? The answer is a whole note. It has four beats. On to the next measure. I already have a half note in measure number two, which will complete that measure. Is it group A, a pair of eighth notes? and an eighth note? Is it group B, a dotted quarter note and an eighth note? Or is it group C, a dotted quarter note and a quarter rest? The answer is a dotted quarter and an eighth. Both of them put together will receive two beats plus the two beats of a half note equals to four. Let's go to the third measure. We already have a dotted half rest. To complete it, which of the three symbols do you think will fit in the measure? Is it a dotted quarter, a half rest, or a quarter note? Look at the table. Since a dotted half rest has already three beats, 
then we only need one bit more to complete the 4 4 times signature. And the answer is a quarter note. Let's go to the next measure. We have a quarter note and a quarter rest, and both of them already have two beats. Now which of the three symbols will complete the measure? The answer is a half note. Because a half note receives two beats, plus the two beats of the quarter and the quarter rest, a note, and that is four. How about the next measure? Can you tell me the correct answer for this? A dotted half note already has three beats. So we only need one beat more to complete the measure. And among the groups, an eighth note and an eighth rest will complete the measure. And let's go to the last measure. Which of these will complete a 4-4 four, four time signature? I hope your answer is the whole rest. Always remember to look at the upper number to be able to know how many beats will you have in each measure. The lower number represents the kind of note that we receive one beat. I hope you, will, you were able to learn some things in today's lesson. If you wish to learn more about this, you can go back to the video and keep on learning and learning again. Thank you.